What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Coke Gotti, coming at y'all with another video. In this video, I'm getting my week eight predictions. Before we start, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's ride. Starting out Thursday night, we got UCLA versus Stanford. Chip Kelly has been horrible since he's been at UCLA. Stanford, well, like I was predicting at the beginning of the season, is having a pretty bad down year. I mean, UCLA ain't no better. In this game, though, I'm picking UCLA to win it. I'm going to go out on limb. I think UCLA would pull it off. Then on Friday night, we got number four, Ohio State. Going on the road to play Northwestern. Rematch of the Big Ten Championship last year. We all know I'm picking Ohio State just like everybody. <clears throat> but given the fact Ohio State in recent years has been known to blow a game against an unranked opponent, this is one that could possibly happen. Who knows? And on a Saturday now, real college football day. We got number nine ranked Florida going on the road to play South Carolina. South Carolina coming off of that big, big win against Georgia. I still hate thinking about it, but it's whatever. Either way, Florida's coming off of their loss to LSU. I'm taking Florida in this game. I think that they're going to be coming correct. They, they saw what South Carolina did to Georgia. They just took a loss. They definitely can't afford another one, especially not a conference loss. <clears throat> I got Florida winning this game. Then we have West Virginia going on the road to play number five, Oklahoma. I got Oklahoma. I got Oklahoma raping these boys. Jalen Hurts, This he might have a seven totals, eight total touchdowns in this game, to be honest. Definitely got Oklahoma winning by a whole lot. Then we have TCU against Kansas State. Kansas State has had a decent, well, I mean, for them, they've had a decent year. A lot, not a lot better, but definitely better than uh, what I uh, was predicting at the beginning of the year for them. I didn't think that they was going to win some of the games they won. They've been looking pretty strong. TCU has looked strong, too. They are very banged up right now, though. I'm going to take Kansas State in this game. Then we have Indiana going on the road to play Maryland. Y'all remember Maryland? First two weeks of college football, he was the talk. Plenty of hype, putting up all those points. Then these last games, I know where they've been at. They've been ghost. But I'm going to pick Maryland to win this. Pick Maryland to win it by a lot. I think Maryland's going to look like how they did the first two weeks of the season in this game. Definitely got Maryland winning. Then the big time matchup, one of the big time matchups. <clears throat> number 12, Oregon versus number 25, Washington. They'll be in Washington. This right here will decide the division. And more than likely, the winner of this will win the, the Pac 12. Personally, I'm picking Washington to win the game. You know, beginning of the season, I, f I had put Ohio. Not Ohio. I put Oregon in my playoff predictions, and they still can do it. But with the way this season's been going, Oregon hasn't been as good as I was thinking they were going to be. I mean, Washington hasn't really either. But this game, Washington being at the house, I got Washington winning it. Then we have number 18, Baylor, going on the road to play Oklahoma State. Now, Baylor is a big surprise team for me. I definitely did not expect them to be undefeated at this point in the season. They were, the last two years, they were slowly turning their season, they're, they're turning their program around. And this year, they've made a major step. I mean, they haven't played, you know, in Oklahoma yet or Texas yet, but... They've been looking pretty good, man. 
I'm going to pick Oklahoma State to win, though. Mainly because I'm not all the way sold on Baylor. I do believe they're a good team. They've definitely earned that from me. But I don't know if they're one of those good teams that's going to win all the games they're supposed to win or not. I'm going to pick Oklahoma State to win this game in a shootout. <clears throat> then we got Kentucky going in to play number 10, Georgia. Dogs coming off of the loss against South Carolina are going to be very hungry, very angry, and very vicious. And I know some people might think I'm only saying this because I'm a Georgia fan. But that's not true. Okay? Okay. All right? Georgia coming off of a loss is a very dangerous team. It's been like that the past two seasons. I believe it's going to be like that this year. Kentucky playing us is very bad for them. Very bad. And we're at the house. I know Kirby's getting these boys ready. He's getting in their ass over that bullshit game against South Carolina. Georgia's going to dominate uh, Kentucky. Then, on to one of the next uh, big-time matchups this week. Number 17, Arizona State, on the road to play number 13, Utah. Okay, Arizona State has been impressive this year. Only got that one loss. And they have been knocking off some ranked teams. Utah's Utah. You know, they're a good, solid team. Definitely a defensive team. One of the very few over in the Pac-12. I'm going to pick Arizona State, though. I tell people over all the time, Arizona State is the team in the Pac-12 to knock a team off. Utah is the higher-ranked team. Utah is the favorite to win the division out of them. I got Arizona State knocking them off. And last but not least... The biggest matchup of the week. Number 16, Michigan. Going on the road to play number 7, Penn State. That's the biggest matchup of the, the day, of this week. <clears throat> that game right there will do one of two things. It will let us know how legit Michigan is and how legit Penn State is. Because I'm not going to lie, at the moment... I think Penn State is official. I do. I, I really do. They're playing some really good football. And Michigan. Michigan's just been doing what Michigan does, you know. All that hype, and they don't fucking back it up. All that talent, they don't back it up. Jim Harbaugh's seat gets harder and harder year in, year out. And once Penn State beats them, yes, that's right. My pick is Penn State to beat Michigan. Once Penn State beats them, that motherfucker's chair is about to start burning up. Because if he don't beat Ohio State this year and he has the loss to Penn State, best believe they're going to start weighing their options. But anyways, that's my picks for this week. Hit the like and subscribe button. Before the, uh, the weekend, I'm going to have a couple more mid-season grade videos on some teams. Stay tuned. That's why you got to make sure you hit the like and subscribe. It's your boy, Cole Gutty. And I'm out.